Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today, I'm doing a spoiler-free book review on a book that's been hot in the media lately. The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides. This is a psychological thriller, a mystery, a suspense novel. We have two things that are going on in this book. One, we have our primary character, Alicia Berenson. Alicia is found at the scene of a crime. In her own home, she's found with her husband, her dead husband, that has been killed by a gunshot wound to the head. As the police investigate this murder, Alicia won't speak. She's silent. She's silent throughout the whole trial, and she doesn't speak a single word, even through being committed to a psychiatric hospital. Hence the title, The Silent Patient. The second thing that we have going on here is our psychotherapist, and it's his perspective that the novel is written from. It's his words on the pages that we're reading. One Theo Faber. Theo comes to be the psychotherapist treating Alicia at the psychiatric hospital. So we have two things going on here. We have Alicia and her life and the mystery behind what happened with the murder of her husband. Then we have Theo, the psychotherapist, and his own personal problems within his life, and some different things that are going on with him, and we're following along with both people, trying to figure out what's going on with each of them, and ultimately figure out what happened with Alicia the night that her husband was murdered. Very good book here. I was having a kind of reading funk, if you will. I was forcing some nonfiction, and I really needed something to bring me out of that, and this book did it. I had seen a lot of recommendations for this, and I don't usually read this kind of book. So the fact that I'm giving it a positive review here really says a lot about the quality of this novel. I have some particular problems with psychological thrillers. I think one of the last ones that I read was The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, and although that was okay, I had some problems with that. With these kind of books, I usually dislike the ending. I think there's usually a part in the middle where I feel that the author's stretching it. The endings are either strange or implausible to me, and I didn't have any of those problems with this book. I was hooked from the first page. It's written in such a fashion that I just wanted to know what was going to happen next. It's truly a suspense novel, this one is. I wanted to know what happens next. What happens next? Why are all these weird things going on in this, in this psychotherapist's life? And, and how does it have anything to do with Alicia? So I was totally committed to this, and I won't mention anything about the ending, because this is a spoiler-free review. I don't want to spoil anything in this book. But I will say that I was satisfied with the ending in this book. I thought that it was plausible. I thought that it was intelligent. I thought that it answered the questions, that we got a real resolution to what uh, I was asking myself as a reader with this one. I thought it was unique. I thought it was just literary gold, the ending in this novel. The Silent Patient by Michael, Alex Michaelides. I'm going to give this one a five-star review. You know, the reason I'm giving it a five-star review is because I just can't think of any Thing to complain about with this book. I was kind of nitpicking as I was going along because I'm abrasive toward these kinds of books. I've been disappointed with so many of them, but I just couldn't find anything that I disliked about this one. I liked the characters. I thought they were real. I thought they were genuine. I really liked the psychotherapist. I liked Alicia. I liked the fact that the author did his homework concerning psychology in this one. I've been reading a lot of books uh, by Hume and, and other psychologists, and I thought that this one was like accurate concerning that kind of thing. So I really appreciated the fact that this author did his homework. It's kind of coincidental that this is the, uh, this author's uh, debut novel. This is his first novel, and it really goes to, to show that he is a talented author and someone to look for in the future by how suspenseful and well-written this book was. I'm just going to prophesy here, folks, that it won't be long before this book says number one New York Times bestseller right up here at the top. I'm giving this one a five-star review. I thought it was solid. I thought it was real. I thought the characters were 
really well written in this one. Themes like uh, guilt and betrayal and loyalty all throughout this book. I thought it was a very, very good novel and I don't have any complaints concerning this one. Five star review here. The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides. Five star review, folks, and I'm definitely, definitely recommending this book.